Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about solving exponential equations. Okay? So let's start. One-to-one -one property of exponential function states that in f of x equals b raised to x, ito yung ating exponential function, if x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2, then b raised to x sub 1 is not equal to b raised to x sub 2. Tama? Conversely, if b raised to x sub 1 is equal to b raised to x sub 2, then x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2. Okay, so this property paves the way in understanding on how to solve exponential equations. So, ito yung property guys na i-apply natin kung paano ba natin i-solve yung mga equations natin today. Okay, so again, sabi dito, as kung nakapansin nyo, meron tayong same base which is yung b. If b raised to x sub 1 is equal to b raised to x sub 2, so, then, yung kanyang exponent na x sub 1 is equals doon sa x sub 2. So, try natin. Solve for the value of x. So, we have 4 raised to x plus 1 equals 64. So, dito guys, uh, para magamit natin yung ating 1 to 1 property of exponential function, Ang first step natin dito, dapat yung ating bases, yung 4 and 64, dapat magkapareho. Okay, so parehas sila dapat ng number. So, paano natin gagawin yon? So, dito guys, uh, since si 64 is pwede na naman natin i-rewrite in terms of 4. Paano? Alam naman natin na si 64 is parehas lang guys ni 4 cube. Tama? Yung 4 times 4 times 4. Tama? Kasi ang 4 times 4, that is 16. Times 4, that is 64. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, kung papalitan natin, guys, si 64, so, meron tayong 4 raised to x plus 1 equals, kung papalitan natin si 64 ng 4 cube, makikita nyo dito na yung ating bases ay parehas na. Tama? Parehas silang 4. So, since parehas na sila, guys, ibig sabihin, pwede na nating i-apply yung ating 1 to 1 property of exponential function. Sabi doon, kung parehas yung base, then, ibig sabihin, yung kanilang exponent ay equal din. So, pwede nating i-rewrite yung ating equation to x plus 1 equals 3. Tama? So, yung x plus 1 galing sa exponent ng ating um, sa left side. Then, yung 3 naman is yung exponent doon sa ating right side. Okay? So, this time, pwede na nating masolve yung values ni x. Lipat natin yan. We have x plus 1. So, magiging negative 1 yan sa kabila. Then, 3 minus 1. So, ang sagot natin dito, guys, is x equals positive 2. Naintindihan? So, let's have another example. So, number 2, 16 raised to negative x is equal to 1 over 64. So, dito ang base natin, meron tayong 16. Sa so, may kabila, kabila naman, meron tayong 1 over 64. Okay? So, kung natandaan nyo guys, pagka yung base natin is nasa denominator, pwede natin yung i-rewrite papunta sa numerator, pero paano gagawin nyo doon? I-apply natin guys yung negative exponent. Tama? So, si 64, magiging raised to negative 1. Okay? Kasi kung tandaan yung property natin dati, if b raised to um, n, that is equals to 1 over b raised to negative n. Tama? Kung malilipat yung ating base sa uh, numerator to denominator or from the denominator to numerator, mag-change ng sign yung kanyang exponent. Okay? So, in our case, yung 1 na exponent natin naging negative 1. So, ang next step natin is kailangan maging pareha sila ng base. So, si 16 and 64, pareha silang 
um, multiple of 4. So, ibig sabihin, si 16 pwede natin gawing 4 square. Tama? Then, raise to negative x. Same with 64. Si 64 is same lang naman ni 4 raised to 3 or 4 cube. Then, yung kanyang negative 1. Okay? So, ngayon, um, pwede nating ilabas yung kanyang exponent. So, yung 4 square raised to negative x is parehas lang naman ni 4 um, raised to negative 2x. Tama? Pwede nating i-multiply lang naman yung kanyang mga power. Same with dun sa right side. Si 4 raised to 3 raised to negative 1. Same lang na yan guys ni 4 raised to negative 3. Okay, multiply lang natin yan. Okay, so dito guys, meron na tayong parehas na base, yung 4. Ibig sabihin, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating 1 to 1 property. So that is negative 2x equals negative 3. Then solving for x, divide lang natin both sides of the equation by negative 2. So ang value ng x natin is equals to 3 over 2. Nakuha guys? So let's proceed to example number 3. We have 3 raised to 4x equals 9 raised to x plus 1. So, dito, obviously naman, si 9 yung pwede nating i write in terms of 3. So, we have 3 raised to 4x equals, si 9, same lang naman yan ni 3 square. Tama? Then, meron tayong exponent na x plus 1. So, dito guys, ang gagawin nyo lang is, since same na yung kanyang base, pwede nating i-apply yung 1 to 1 uh, property natin. So, we have 4x equals 2 times the quantity of x plus 1. Tama? Then, solve natin si x. So, distribute natin to guys. So, we have 4x equals 2x plus 2. Okay? Then, lipat natin si 2x. We have 4x minus 2x equals 2. So, this is 2x equals positive 2. Okay, then divide both sides by 2 para ma-isolate natin si x. So, maka-cancel out natin to. So, this time, x equals positive 1. Nakuha guys? So, naiintindihan ba yung ating procedure? So, let's have our last example, number 4. 16 raised to x raised to 2 equals 4 raised to x plus 3. Okay? So, dito naman, uh, si 16 yung pwede natin i-rewrite in terms of 4. So, that is 4 square. Then, pwede na natin i-multiply dun sa kanyang exponent si 2. So, we have 2x square equals 4 raised to x plus 3. Okay, so applying our property, we have 2x square equals x plus 3. Diba? So pwede na natin i-eliminate si 4 dito. Okay, so as you can see, meron tayong quadratic. Ibig sabihin, ilipat natin sa left side lahat yan. We have 2x square minus x minus 3 equals 0. Okay, so meron tayo guys na quadratic equation. So, paano gagawin kaya natin dito pagka meron tayong quadratic equation? So, usually ang ginagamit natin dyan is yung factoring method. If a factor natin si 2x squared minus x minus 3. So, we have 2x, then x. Okay? Then, factor ni negative 3. So, dito natin lagay si negative 3, then x plus 1. Okay, pwede nyo i-check yung factor nyo kung nag-trial and error kayo. So, multiply nyo lang yung first. We have 2x square. Then, yung ating last, negative 3 times 1, that is negative 3. Okay, then yung sa middle term natin na negative x, yan yung sum ng outer and inner. So, try natin. Meron tayong 2x. Okay, so this is 2x, then minus 2 minus 3x, that is negative x. 
Okay, so tama yung factor natin. Then after natin ma-factor yan guys, i-equate natin both factors to zero. Tama? Okay, then after natin ma-factors, uh, after natin ma-equate sa zero, yung both factors solve for x. So, lipat natin sa right side to. We have 2x equals 3. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 2. Ang first value of ng x natin is 3 over 2. Okay? Then, sa kabila naman, lipat natin si positive 1. And that is x equals negative 1. So, we have two values of x. Yung una, 3 over 2. Then, yung pangalawa naman is negative 1. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba mag-solve ng exponential equations. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! Mm -hmm.